All right, be a tone. Walk him through, might be a tone, you know. That's the market here. As you can see, all type of things selling at the market gate. William! Oi! Oh, I think I'm here. Can I tell you? Yeah, man, I will power you. Know. <laughs> yeah. Market gate, you know. You have a woman car, but I don't know. Market here. Yeah, yeah. All type of things in a market gate town are selling. You know. Sell as them out, you know. The struggle is real. People have to look. Things, you know? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Right, you know. Yeah, man, people and taxi and all type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. People. Let us see you represent your, your different schools. Let us see you represent your different schools. As I said in St. Thomas, Seaford Secondary, Seaford High, Trinityville Secondary, Robert Lightburn High, Paul Bogle, um, Juna High, Paul Bogle High, Yala Secondary, Yala High, Stokes Hall Secondary, St. Thomas Technical. Straight all along, the only high school was Marant Bay High School in the parish until 1989 or 88 I think when Seaford joined the batch of high school in St. Thomas and we started to register high school so if you are from St. Thomas let me see which one of the schools we used to go I'm a Kingston friend my work friends the Kingston Technical the Kingston College the JC the Ulmas the Spanish Town I the JC all those school represent for your school no i could see what is going on for your school oh my sister actually went to happy grove high that is another school connected to st thomas but it is inside of portland so it's happy grove high and she also went to marant bay high school my daughter is now at marant bay high my son is now at seaford high my other daughter used to go um Paul Bogle High, then she went to Kingsway High School in Kingston. And my next son used to go to Seaford High, then he went to Paul Bogle High. Yeah. Let me represent the school, man, for school, you know. For me, as I tell you, for me, it is Seaford High School. This is a new type that they're using now, you know. See? This sign, Seaford High School. Yeah. I'm a son hang it up in here. Congratulations though to the winner of champs. Congratulations. But in St. Thomas we have Eastern champs and the other school always go on good. So my people, as I end this video on a sad location in front of the Marant Bay Courthouse in Marant Bay, calling out to you to represent your school. And that would be the stand where Paul Bogle would have been on. But guess what? Paul Bogle has gone. For years now, they take down the statue and he has not returned to St. Thomas. And this is the famous Marant Bay Courthouse. It burnt down a few years ago. I'm asking you to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you look, you see the insignia that is telling you that Paul Bogle, this is where Paul Bogle should have been right here in St. Thomas. Like, share and subscribe to my channel from in front of old photos in Marantay. Another video has ended. I'm out. Peace.